Well, the high priest of Israel was a man just like the rest of us, a sinful man, uh, a man who needed to make confession and sacrifice for his own sins first, and then he could go ahead and make a sacrifice for the sins of the people of Israel. But Jesus is our great high priest. He isn't from the tribe of Levi. He's from the tribe of Judah, and therefore he's not a Levitical priest. He is a priest after the order of Melchizedek. And the Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 22, by so much was Jesus made a surety of a better testament. The word testament means covenant. Something better than the Mosaic covenant, something better than the old covenant is the new covenant. The new covenant that we are the recipients of in Jesus Christ in a relationship with him. Verse 23 says, and they truly were many priests because they were not suffered to continue by reason of death. So the high priest would live and then he would die and his son would become the high priest and he would live and then he would die and then his son would become the high priest. But this man, because he continueth ever, hath an unchangeable priesthood. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Our high priest is never going to change because he lives forever. Jesus ever lives to make intercession for us, the Bible tells us. For such a high priest became us who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. I love this. I love this description uh, of these, these words used to describe our high priest, King Jesus. He says there he is holy. He is harmless. He is undefiled. He is separate from sinners and he is made higher than the heavens. What an incredible description of our high priest, Jesus. He says, who needeth not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice first for his own sins, then for the people's. For this he did once when he offered up himself one sacrifice on the cross once for all. And you and I, we, we can be the beneficiaries, the recipients of this new Testament, of this new covenant and of this sacrifice of Jesus, where he took all of the world's sin upon himself and he paid for it once for all because he is separate from sinners. He's sinless. He's undefiled. And so he was the suitable sacrifice for our sins. And verse 28 says, For the law maketh men high priests which have infirmity, but the word of the oath, which was since the law, maketh the son who, con who is consecrated forevermore. Jesus was made high priest by an oath that God made, and it came later than the law. And his high priesthood will never end. It continues forever. Aren't you grateful today to know that you have a high priest in heaven who ever lives to make intercession for you? He's not like us. Aaron, he was like us. He was a sinful man born into a sinful world, having to deal with his own sin and then deal with the sin of the people, but not Jesus. Jesus is born into the sinful world, but he's not a sinful man. He's undefiled. And he gave himself, Aaron, he offered a lamb or he offered a bull or he offered a ram on the altar. Jesus offered himself. What an incredible sacrifice. He laid down his life and he poured out his blood so that you and I could be made clean and forgiven. And so that we could be absolutely secure knowing that our high priest is never going to die, that he lives forever and he ever lives to make intercession for us. So if he knows you and you belong to him, I guarantee you he's going to bring you safely home. I hope you know Jesus. I hope you have a relationship with him today. God bless you. Have a great day.